Hey there Libra, welcome to your mid-March reading. So today we have a little message that you may need to hear at this point uh, and that you should keep in mind throughout the rest of the month. Um, and keep in mind the general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone, okay? If it doesn't resonate with you, you can definitely check your other placements, but if it does, don't forget to smash that like button for me. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you're interested in private readings, the link is down below, okay? And over on Instagram, we have weekly messages, okay? So let's get into your reading. So first of all, I was getting a lizard, so that's good stuff because it talks about like uh, regeneration and rebirth and all that. So a lizard may actually be a spirit animal that you have with you at this point. Um, but then right after it, I, I saw the magician and a very like a red cloth was really like it was really big. It was really coming out to me. Um, so what I get from that is that you are manifesting that regeneration, right? That rebirth of something. And I almost feel like it's within you. Um, but I kind of feel like you're manifesting a new beginning for yourself with a lot of passion, a lot of love for yourself, a lot of, yeah, I'm the bitch here. Yeah, I'm the boss here. You know, really self-empowerment. I really love that. I really love that. So let's see here what we have for you. A lot of confidence too. <laughs> And as I say that, your sensuality is beautiful. Yeah, a lot of confidence. Look at that miracle over there. And we also have, please don't lose hope. So things right now um, may be a little bit tricky. Maybe you're not really comfortable with who you are or you're not in a very pretty place. Um, but know that things are shifting. Know that things are shifting. And that magician, especially with that this new moon in Pisces, that's really wonderful for manifestation. And, you know, it's the end of a cycle because we're getting into Aries season and that is the beginning of the astrological year. And I really feel like new, fresh energy. Look at that renewal as I say that. Gosh, a lot of synchronicities. Um, but I really feel like a new, fresh beginning is coming towards you and it brings you so much closer to yourself. I really feel like this is not about a relationship. And by the way, this is not um, specific around the relationship or career. Take it how it resonates. But I really feel like this is around yourself. This is about you feeling confident in yourself. Maybe it's you feeling confident in your skills uh, in your career, you know? But I just feel like you're going to feel so empowered moving forward. And I really feel like better days are ahead, okay? So please don't lose hope, okay? <laughs> so in the past, we're going to do a little like past, present, future kind of spread. Uh, we have vanity, current situation, forgiveness, and joy. Bro, ah, oh, this is beautiful. This is so wonderful. So in the past, I kind of feel like with that vanity, you could have been comparing yourself to others a lot. Um, and like, oh, they have such a cu cute booty. Oh, they have this. Oh, they have that. Or they have that... The, that spectacular car. Oh, they are doing so well in their career. I feel like you were comparing yourself a lot to others. And now with this forgiveness, I really feel like it's time for you to forgive yourself for doing that and move forward into this joy, into this leap of faith, into this like new beginning where you're just so proud of yourself and you love where you are and you love who you are and the things that you own, and you're really grateful, because like, we saw gratitude earlier, and now it's here again, bottom of the deck, and it's really about like, being grateful, look at that self-love, my gosh, um, it's about really being grateful for the things that you own, and for who you are, you know, I really feel like gratitude journaling would do you very good, okay, so keep that in mind, maybe try it out for like a week or two, and see how it feels. For me, it totally changed my life and my perspective of who I am and my confidence too. So if you're struggling with confidence, um, and not only with confidence, especially if you're going through a rough period, uh, and we have gratitude here again, so that's pretty a pretty big message. Um, that uh, gratitude journaling really shifted my perspective because it really, like, even the shittiest days... I always, like, I promised myself I'd write at least three things each night around that day that I was grateful for, and that really shifted my energy from a place of, I don't know, just feeling like I suck and, and that my life has, not not that it has no meaning, but, like, it's not pretty, I'm not where I want to be, and it's just no point because this is going to be the rest of my life, and that really shifted for me, and it really 
attracted amazing, beautiful things too. And I started feeling more confident. And I started to grow and glow and shine. And I feel like you deserve too. Well, you definitely deserve that too. And I really feel like gratitude journaling could help you out with that as well. Okay? So let's see what we have from here. We have assessing in the past over there. Current situation, self-love. There we go. And beauty. Ugh. This is really your energy with that Venus energy. That's, aw, Libra. Ugh. I really feel like you're getting in touch with the, um, a new stage of your life where you're empowered and you're like, you don't fear judgment. You don't fear what other people will tell you. And that is something that you gain through self-love. And you may feel that at this point, like you could have been in the self-love journey for some time. And you should know that it has its ups and downs. And probably it started pretty well. And you were um, possibly getting rid of some friends that were really toxic for you. And that felt good. And that felt empowering. And you saw some progress there. Now some things external, for example, could be happening like around your career or around relationships and so things may go a little bit down and you start feeling like man I suck like what the hell am I doing know that that is okay it's okay to not be okay and it's okay to not feel confident a hundred percent of the time because no one does like you have your bad days all everyone has it, their bad days and you also have your good days and I feel like it's just a matter of accepting that that's part of being a human okay and yeah, man, but I really love, like, this beautiful, this beautiful future, it's looking so promising, I really love that, so let's pull some tarot in here to get some more information, okay, uh, you, for some of you, I'm getting a specific message that you may be trying to lose weight, uh, and again, it's a process, okay? And also, I feel like sometimes people forget, especially if you're exercising and you're not just doing, like, diet stuff. Um, it's normal that you gain weight in the beginning because, I mean, I'm not an expert in that, but I did my research, okay? <laughs> uh, and especially in the beginning, you know, like, there's a transition, a transitional place where... Uh, it's like in the beginning, you may be losing a lot of fat, and then your weight sort of stag uh, sort of stays stagnant. It's because the fat is being replaced with muscle, and muscle actually weights more than fat, I believe, or something like that. And so it's really normal that your weight stays stagnant in a, in a certain period. It's because you're gaining muscle, okay? That is especially if you're exercising here. Um, but yeah. And we have the two of ones here, so you're looking into a new future. You're looking into, like, what's ahead and making a decision. And I feel like your decision right now needs to be, I'm just going to keep fighting. I'm just going to keep, like, doing my own stuff. I'm just going to keep going my own way with this eight of ones and six of ones, empowering yourself and really connecting with your intuition. Because I feel like your intuition is telling you you're beautiful, you're perfect, and... You're perfectly imperfect. That is a lyric that I really love. You're perfectly imperfect. And that's what matters, okay? So, now oh, there we go with the magician. In the past, hanged man, current situation, ten of cups. <laughs> Libra, what the hell? Okay, let me pull them all out. And, ah, okay. Uh, we'll talk about it. So, in the past, we have that magician, so there you were uh, looking at your possibilities and trying to manifest that new beginning for yourself, that new life, that new stage of your life. And um, with your the hangman here in your current situation, I really feel like you're gaining enlightenment and you're trying to figure out stuff. I feel like, and it's good because this is not in an air kind of energy, this is Pisces energy. And it's the connection in connection with that high priestess. I feel like you're following more your intuition and you're trying to see, for example, talking about that diet thing. Possibly you were in a very strict diet in the beginning. And now I feel like you're moving more towards like intuitive writing, uh, intuitive writing, <laughs> intuitive diet, uh, intuitive eating. And I feel like that is actually bringing you a lot of good 
um, energy and a lot of good health. And with that Ten of Cups right there, and for the future and where you're headed, it's that thing where you just take leaps of faith, where you feel like you're more comf not comfortable, where you feel like you would be happier. And that is bringing you so many amazing things, possibly um, a higher level of commitment if you're already in a relationship, a new relationship uh, if you're looking for love, a new job opportunity, a promotion. It's like things level up, has you level up. And even if this is around like spirituality and everything, I kind of feel like it's not as deep in a sense, it's not as spiritual as that. Um, but there's always stagnation. Stagnation is part of growth, okay? Stagnation is part of growth. It's part of life. And I feel like now the hangman definitely symbolizes stagnation. And just know that it's part of it. It's part of it. And I feel like you may assume that something is wrong with you. Something is wrong with your journey. Something is wrong. Nothing is wrong. Well, yeah. Uh, we'll talk about it. But you're headed somewhere beautiful, okay? Your block here is this Ace of Pentacles. You may be receiving some sort of offer and you're like, oh, nah, I don't want it. Thank you. And that may actually be um, rooted in a limiting belief. For example, you may be getting that promotion and uh, you may be like, oh, no, no, that is too much. I don't want it. And why don't you want it? Because that could be a really good opportunity, you know, you may be a little bit afraid of, uh, I don't feel like it's fear, I feel like it may be around like self-worth of like, oh no, that is, like, like that is too much, I don't deserve as much, and you do deserve as much, okay, and your higher self with this five of swords, your higher self is trying to tell you that um, I do feel like you already got rid of some people, but there are still some people I feel around you that are toxic. And maybe it's, I, I feel like the level of toxicity is a little lower from what you dealt with in the past, but there are still some people like that in your life and you should be really aware of it, okay? You should really be careful about that. And also, you see how he's like um, putting his hand on his head like, oh my god, my head hurts. Um, it is because you're thinking too much, <laughs> okay? You're thinking too much. And it's important that you just go with the flow and connect with your emotions. And with this Eight of Pentacles, know that you are doing wonderful, okay? This Eight of Pentacles is your advice and your next step. And you really should know that everything is happening how it's supposed to. And keep focusing on you. Keep working on that self-love. Do not give up, okay? Do not lose hope. Because I like, ah, oh, it's so beautiful. Libra, you're really doing amazing things. And... I'm also getting one message of like, be careful about burning yourself out. Okay. Really get in touch more with your body. And especially with that, your sensuality is beautiful. Really connect with your body and listen to it because it's, um, as I say that, intuition. Um, it's, it's giving you also messages, okay? It's also giving you messages around... Am I healthy? Am I doing the right thing? Am I doing the wrong thing? And also, with this Five of Swords, it may not even be a friend. It may be, for example, that thing of, about diet. Um, maybe the diet that you're following, um, like that person may not be the... It's not that they are not trustworthy, but like we all have different bodies. And that specific diet may not be the best for you. So like do your research. Don't put your whole faith into... A specific thing into a specific person I feel like there's a person here involved and it could be like a guide of some sort a teacher of some sort really be careful about that and do your own research with this eight of Pentacles do your own research do your like make your make your own decisions in a sense you know what I mean listen to yourself more don't listen so much to um, other people all right, so let's see. Let's pull some spirit animals here for you. What do we have for Libra? <laughs> Libra, gosh. So that is coming pretty damn strongly with um, the, that self-love thing. You got the peacock, self-love. Time to celebrate you and all your magnificent light. 
We also have here Golden Unicorn, Ascension, Awaken Your Soul's Potential. So for some of you, this may definitely be around like spirituality. Um, and especially with this um, third eye chakra here with the forgiveness. But even if it's not, like you're awakening and go for it. Let go, okay? And Fox, Shadow Work. There are no shadows without light and there is no light without shadow. Um... Well, there actually is, but <laughs> it's part of it. Like, it's duality. It's part of it. And just really embrace your shadow side and heal. Do a little bit of shadow work there, okay? Do a little bit of journaling and really embrace that shadow side of you. Embrace the, the shadow, the darkness that you may be currently in. And yeah, embrace who you are and celebrate who you are. So let's pull here some messages and advice from the universe. Oh God, are you looking at this? You are in the right path. Expecting and expected that Ten of Cups. I feel like you're not going to see it coming, okay? So really be open. That is your block currently is that I feel like you're not that open to new opportunities. Be open to new opportunities, okay? Take a step back, relax, and eat pizza. Free like a bird. Let's see what else we have for Libra. Oh, man. We have believe. And it's up to you. So there's that thing. Do your research and um, make your own decisions. Like, take your own step move your own foot and embrace who you are really like you're you're doing good okay and with this take a step back relax in each pizza it's like don't give up don't lose hope really try to um let your worries out and what i mean with that is that you may be holding it in journal about it okay find a hobby or something where you can release all that tension and you can release all those worries physically um, through dance, through like boxing for me really works. <laughs> and, you know, just try to find a way for you to put it all out there um, and let go, okay? Because this joy, this little girl right here, she's happy. She's flowing. She's releasing control. She's free, Okay. So forgive yourself. This is about forgiving yourself, not others. Forgive yourself for whatever happened. Forgive yourself if you um, have a garbage day. It's okay, all right? It's okay to fail. And you're doing great, okay? Oh, Libra, this is so lovely. I really love this. So I hope it resonated. I hope it helped. If it, if it did, don't forget to smash the like button for me. Do subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, the private readings, the link is down below, as always. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.